Hey guys, Mike Cricket 113. Uh, very crude, very crude, and I know it's leaning like uh, a surf fishing pole. The wind is out here, and I didn't pound the, uh, the post in the ground tight enough. But anyway, anyway, this is, uh, I got an inverted V here going across the yard. I don't have a very big yard. But this is the uh, MFJ, MFJ 1982 LP, Lima Papa, the QRP. 80 meter end fed good for 80 meter through 10 meter uh like i said don't have a big yard it's a windy day sorry about the wind i uh, got her stretching out to the corner of the yard down there we'll walk over there in a minute and then all the way to the other corner uh, my yard is not the best yard for this but uh you gotta do what you gotta do and i threw this up in a matter of uh, minutes and i literally say that it's got your, uh, your choke in the back to keep the RF off the feed line. And there's the box right there. I got it on a zip tie, a 49 to one balance in there, rated for uh, the 1982 LP by MFJ is rated for 30 watts. I just made a contact to a whiskey, uh, what was it, a whiskey three Foxtrot Foxtrot in California, his name's Bud. Uh, I also have a 15 foot uh, piece of Romex on here as a counterpoise. Uh, the, the antenna works great. It, it works great. Uh, I was wanting to use this as a, a POTA operation antenna, so I wanted to throw this up here knowing full well that my yard is not big enough, but uh, I was trying to, anything I could do to get this thing up. I uh, made a couple 20 meter contacts. Uh, the SWR on 20 meter across my privilege of general uh, is uh, right around 1.5, surprisingly. Uh, in the 80 meter portion, in the general privilege, it's a little bit high, but I think that's because I don't have this stretched out uh, properly uh, tight enough, of course. You can see it's slacky. Uh, very lo uh, very loose here so I think if I stretched it out properly in a sloper position or maybe an inverted V up and over a tree and had the proper length the SWRs would be a little lower uh, or if I was an extra I think in the uh, uh, the lower portion of uh, 80 meters I think it would work great than uh, comparable to 75 so this is the MFJ 1982 uh, Lima Papa uh, 30 watt capable uh, end fed antenna, 80 through 10 meters. Uh, and there's the 49 to one bow. And I'm feeding it with a hundred foot of uh, LMR 400. And like I said, this is the uh, counterbalance at 15 feet. Uh, and there's the choke. So yeah, very haphazard, but I wanted to show you guys this today. And uh, it's going all the way to the back corner there. Let's see here. I know I got my uh, clothesline in the way. Oh, we're going all the way back to the corner there with another uh, bungee cord holding me down. But uh, really, really happy, really happy that, amazed that I just made a contact to California from southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, uh, 20 watts, 20 watts, uh, kind of crazy. So yeah, this thing works on, uh, obviously the Wark bands, it works on 12 meter. SWRs are really low. I used no tuner for 10, for 12, for 17, for 15, for 20. Uh, I don't do the digital, so 30 meters I didn't do. For 40 meters, you don't need a tuner. Obviously you need it for the, I obviously needed it for 80 meters, but uh, it was working pretty well. And I'm really pleased with it. I've been kind of interested in doing QRP, so hopefully, uh, hopefully this is gonna be a fun antenna to play with. So thanks MFJ for, uh, for uh, a good product and uh, I really appreciate it. So this is my Cricket 113. Gonna go make some more contacts before I take this down. Have a good one, keep playing radio, keep learning, and keep getting inspired and trying new things. All right, 7-3, take care.